I know back, um, it's been several months ago, uh, we had some, a situation where we had some people passing some bogus uh, American Express travel checks around town. It was extremely hard for me to get that information out to our business community because I did not know what avenues to take. And then it dawned on me that the Chamber of Commerce surely had everybody's email address, or well, the majority of their members. And so using them, we were able to get the information to the Chamber of Commerce. We were able to get them a copy of that check. Media was also really good to help us out at that time uh, to get that information out as well. So it's things like that that I think is extremely important to us, and I think in turn to you, that would allow us to, to get information out at the same time and allow you an opportunity to talk to us. We also have Another thing, when we talk about travels checks, if we have people who are out writing checks around town, uh, our biggest recipient of, of bad checks uh, a lot of times is Walmart. Uh, and, but if you have people who are out writing stolen checks, and that's what I'm talking about when I say bad checks, uh, I'll get that information back out to you because sometimes those things begin to cycle into us and, and you'll know that, hey, you don't want to take checks from this with this name on it. So, uh, a couple of things in downtown that's happened uh, as of late within the last six months. Uh, obviously, Mr. Alcorn over here suffered a major burglary, a, a terrible loss for him. Uh, Chris Fowler here recently was also a victim, victim of a burglary, uh, as well as Dodwell's uh, Museum downtown um, across the post office. Uh, sad to say, we, we have nothing on those crimes. I know that we called the Sheriff's Department in to conduct, uh, come in and, and do a secondary investigation behind us to see if there was anything that we missed on Mr. Alcorn's burglary. Uh, they brought some special lighting and stuff in. While it may have been after the fact, uh, we still believe that, that there were some things about that crime scene that still would have allowed us to find some, some uh, tangible evidence uh, to no avail, uh, obviously. So those crimes still remain unsolved. Uh, we worked some on, on Chris's uh, situation here as of late, but we, we were not able to solve that. I thought we might have been able to solve it, but I think we kind of got it narrowed down when you say, I would say so, yeah. Uh, so, well, we had some luck there. We haven't had any luck um, with any of the other crimes. I can tell you that the crime that happened at Dodgers Museum, uh, the individual that was named as the primary suspect, we had a really difficult time finding him initially. Uh, I happened to get out one day and drive around my pickup truck and look for him, and voila, I rolled up on him. So I invited him down to the police department to come down and talk to us. And we, we did that, took some fingerprints and stuff from him, did some comparisons on the prints that we had, and uh, there, was, there was nothing there. So that was, I guess, good for him, so to speak. Um, the only other thing I will touch base with you about this morning, just since this is kind of an introductory deal, is that I have two things with me. Number one, I have some information regarding a uh, income tax refund fraud that's beginning now to sweep around the country. Uh, this is the latest uh, information regarding that. Uh, what it is, you have people that are calling uh, citizens and saying, "Hey, I understand that you're going to be getting a, you're going to be getting a Bush refund check. Uh, I need your account information, Social Security number, bank account information." People are giving that stuff out because they think you know they're going to be getting a, a tax refund check, a rebate check. So I have some information on that to give you. Also, if you have a business that you have not updated in a while. Uh, through the BID system, Business Identification System. Uh, a good example would be Sean Tail is relocated from Main Street to, to West Broadway. Uh, Bobby's business is relocated from there, most of Cleveland to here Broadway and Harrison. Uh, we would like you to update your information with us. It allows us to, to contact you after hours if there's some type of problem that goes on in your business uh, after the fact and you're not there. Um, have those forms with me. I'll leave those here and give one out to everyone and allow you an opportunity to fill those out. If you would, you can simply drop them back by the police department or if you will call the police department and say, hey, I have a business ID 